Have you ever thought a robot could be your jail guard? Sounds like a sci-fi movie, right? But now, it's actually happening in real life. And not just anywhere, but in China. China has opened the world's first jail that is fully controlled by robots and artificial intelligence. It's not just shocking, it's like stepping into the future, today. Just a few years ago, robots doing police work seemed like a fantasy. People joked about machines walking around like cops, scanning faces, and catching bad guys. But now, in many parts of the world, that dream, or nightmare, is becoming real. In cities like Beijing and Shanghai, you can already see robot police moving through airports, train stations, and even public parks. These machines have sharp cameras. They can recognize your face, hear your voice, and even talk back. Some of them can even check your body temperature or notice if someone looks sick. During the pandemic, they helped spot people with symptoms. But now, China has taken this idea to the next level. They built a jail where everything is run by robots. From checking prisoners to watching every move they make, these robots do it all. They don't sleep, they don't get tired, and they don't miss anything. Cameras are always watching. Sensors track where people go. If someone steps where they shouldn't or tries to escape, the robot doesn't panic. It just sends an alert in seconds. Why is China doing this? The answer is simple. Robots don't take bribes, they don't make mistakes from emotions, and they work 24-7. Sounds great, right? But wait, there's more to think about. Robots can't understand feelings. If someone is sick, scared, or just made a mistake, the robot won't care. It will treat everyone the same, even if the situation is different. And here's something that makes people worry. These robots don't just guard. They remember everything. They know who came, who talked to who, and even what people looked like when they were talking. All of this gets saved in huge computer systems. In China, this information is linked to something called a social credit system, which tracks how people behave. So if you do something wrong, even by mistake, it might affect your freedom in the future. Imagine living in a place where every move you make is watched, every word you say is heard. Even your feelings might be judged by a machine that doesn't even have feelings. A robot won't care that you were just trying to help someone or made a mistake. It just follows the rules, no matter what. And this is not only happening in China. Other countries like Dubai, South Korea, and even the United States are testing robot police. They say it's for safety, but some people are asking, what about freedom? In Dubai, small robot vehicles already move around the streets. They check people's IDs, talk to them, and can even connect to big police databases like Interpol. South Korea and Japan are also testing police robots. In America, some police use flying drones and ground robots to search for criminals or watch over events. These machines don't get tired, they don't take breaks. They just keep watching, recording, and acting. But here's the scary part. Robots can't tell the difference between a bad person and someone who's just having a bad day. If you run across the street to buy medicine and break a traffic rule, the robot doesn't know you are helping someone. It just sees a rule broken. It won't ask questions. It won't forgive. It will just record and punish. That's what's happening inside China's robot-controlled jail. The prisoners there don't talk to human guards. The robots scan their faces, watch their steps, and record everything. The robot may think they're a threat, and that prisoner could face punishment even if they were just walking to the bathroom. This type of control may stop crime, but it also brings a new problem. People feel like they are always being watched. They feel nervous, they can't relax, or be themselves. What if the robot thinks they're acting weird? Will it report them? Will it follow them? Will it block their rights just because an algorithm says so? And these robots are not just sitting still. They are learning every day. With artificial intelligence, they grow smarter with each moment. They notice more things. They make decisions faster. Soon, they might not just follow orders. They might make their own. What happens when a robot decides someone is dangerous based on their face, their walk, or the tone of their voice? That's not a movie anymore. That's real life, and it's coming fast. Robots don't understand sadness, fear, or love. They just react. That means if someone is scared and shouts, the robot could treat them like a threat. It won't ask what's wrong. It won't try to calm them down. It might call backup or lock them up. And there's another thing. Robots can make mistakes. The cameras they use to scan faces don't always get it right. There have been real cases where robots or facial recognition tools identified the wrong person. Innocent people were stopped, questioned, even arrested. Why? Because the robot thought they looked like someone else. So who is responsible when a robot messes up? The robot? The person who built it? Or the police officer who trusted it too much? The law hasn't caught up to the technology. And while we wait, more robots are being added to the streets, the airports, 
and even jails. Now think about this. Today, robots are just watching us from a distance, at the gates, in parks, on roads. What if they enter our buildings or even our homes? Some people are already talking about letting robots go inside private places during emergencies. But who decides what counts as an emergency? And can we really trust a machine to know when it's okay to walk into someone's house? And here's something else to worry about. What if the robot doesn't just stop at emergencies? What if it starts watching people just because they look different or act different? What if someone is calm and kind, but the robot doesn't like how they walk or talk? What if it follows them just because they don't fit in? Who controls these robots? Who teaches them how to think? What if the people in charge don't want fairness, but control? That's when things get really dangerous because a robot doesn't know if it's being fair or unfair. It just follows code. It just does what it's told. Technology is growing super fast. Cameras are getting sharper. Sensors are more powerful. Computers are learning quicker than ever. In five years, robots might not just see and hear. They might talk like humans, give commands, and even judge people by their heartbeat or body heat. In 10 years, they might understand crowds and stop protests before they begin. And in 20 years, they might even decide who's right or wrong just by looking at someone's online history. That's not just about safety anymore, that's about control. And here's the final question. Do we really want to live in a world where everything we do is watched, recorded, and judged by machines? A world where a small mistake could cost us our freedom, not because of a bad person, but because of a cold, emotionless robot? People used to say, at least a human officer can understand, they can forgive, but a robot can't. It doesn't know kindness, it doesn't know fear, it doesn't know second chances. This is not just about jails or robots. It's about what kind of future we want to live in. A safe world, but silent? Or a free world, where people can still laugh, cry, and make mistakes? Right now, we still have time to choose. But the robots are already here, and they're not waiting. What do you think? Should robots be allowed to control jails and patrol our cities? Or are we going too far by giving machines this much power? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next deep dive into the future. Because this is just the beginning, and the next story might be even crazier than this one. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay free.